Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's still the middle of the weekend and I hope everyone is doing well. I've been putting a bit more extra effort in actually uh, making glitch videos simply because I don't really have much time anymore on the weekdays. So to make it up to you guys, here's another one. And this time around, I'll be showing you how to save the actual black juggernaut outfit. And this is the one that comes from the ballistic equipment on Warstock. And that actually means you have to go to Warstock and buy it first before you can do this glitch. Here it is on Warstock, that's 500,000 and uh, GTA money. If you already own it, that's good. If you don't own it and you don't fancy spending 500,000 on this, then probably this glitch is not for you. You can still go with the other Juggernaut outfit glitch that does not um, need you to spend any money. So let us go ahead and prepare for the glitch. So you need to go to any clothing store and start buying some clothes. Isn't that obvious? So let's first go down to vests. And I'll scroll down to the group of vests that you should be buying. It doesn't matter which color you buy because you are not going to actually see it on the outfit. So I'm just going to go for the black vest. After that, next go to vest shirts and buy any of these vest shirts with the armband. This will actually give you the invisible arms when you eventually get the actual outfit. If you're wearing a hat or a helmet, just take that off. So I'm just going to take off my cap right here. I will also take off any glasses that I am wearing so it won't look weird later. So once that is done, just go ahead and walk to the counter and save your outfit. So this should be saved in outfit slot number one. Just name it any name you want. And then we can proceed with the next part. So the next part, you want to go to outfits, heist coveralls, and choose from any of the four here with the gas mask. I'll just choose the one that I already have. And once you have done that, make your way to one of the telescopes located at the fairgrounds, as we'll be doing a telescope glitch. So you can drive there, you can fly there, you can drop teleport there, it's up to you. It doesn't matter at this point in time. Just make sure that you have some cash in hand as well, else you'll get an error message when you look into the telescope. So from here, we're just going to run at the telescope and spam E. And if you did it correctly, it should take off your headgear. So after this, open up your interaction menu, go to style and select the outfit you saved on your very first slot. So what that will do is it will put a mask on you. So now it's time to actually go save at the mask store, which happens to be the nearest place you can save. Once you're at the mask store, just save this into the first outfit, the first slot. Immediately after that, open up the pause menu, go to jobs, play job, rockstar created and go into a mission titan of a job. Now the reason why a lot of glitches actually use this job is not because it's special. It just so happens that it's the first job from the top and it's also a job that has no countdown timer that you have to fulfill. Simple as that. So once you spawn into the job, make your way to the nearest ammunition and save this outfit again in the very first slot. Once you have saved it under your first slot, you can leave the job uh, using your phone. Now that you have spawned back into a session, make your way back to the mass store. And once you're near the store, maybe you want to go and hijack a car, which you will actually use to push the ballistic equipment later. So here I managed to find one. So I'm just going to steal it and drive it to the mass store. So what you're going to want to do now is to open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, select ballistic equipment, and call for it. So you can wait in the car, you don't have to get out of the car, that's fine. Just make sure that the crate doesn't fall right on top of you because that'll be actually hard to uh, maneuver it later. So I can see the marker now, so I'm just moving the vehicle to avoid it coming down on me. So once the crate has landed, use your vehicle to push it like what you're seeing here. I'm going to push it as close as I can to the mass door. So just take note of the position. Okay, that position is good. So once you have the crate at that position, you can actually get out of the car now and start moving close to the clothing rack right over there. 
because what you are going to want to do is to get as close as possible and then collect the crate while spamming E. So spend a little bit more time adjusting yourself properly so that you can actually see the prompt come up on the top left before you start walking and spamming E. For consoles, that would be the right D-pad. So now that you have the prompt on the top left, you are ready to walk and spam E at the same time. So I believe I did it correctly, but there's a way to check it if you're successful and you don't have to go into another job to check. So first, um, open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to ballistic equipment from there and select remove ballistic equipment. It should put you into a default outfit. So just keep the weapon and now I'll show you how to check on this. Open up the interaction menu again and go register yourself as a CEO. After that, go into the CEO menu, go to management and style, scroll to the left and then to the right. You will see that the Jagadan outfit is still there, but it disappears after a while. So what you're going to have to do is to go to your pause menu, go to jobs, play jobs, go to rockstar created versus and select crooked cop. So you will need a friend for this or anyone else to join your session because the versus job only starts uh, when there's a minimum of two people. At the settings menu, set clothing to player owned and then proceed to confirm settings. So over here, you can choose to invite a friend if your friend is ready. If not, you can just open matchmaking and do auto invites. So either way, you will need a second player to join you. And when you actually load into the job later, the second player can just leave immediately, it doesn't matter. So you can tell your friend that uh, you only need like 4 seconds of his time. So I'm just going to fast forward this until someone joins me or my friend joins me because I think it actually took some time. Meanwhile, do drop a like and subscribe if you actually like this. And if you want to see me upload more content, I truly appreciate all the support so far and all the comments that have been coming in for the rest of the glitches. And I actually love it when you guys start giving me ideas for new videos. So now that someone has joined the job, you can actually go ahead and start this. So at the ready menu, this is important, on owned outfit, go right, left and right. And you should see yourself in the juggernaut armor before clicking on ready. So do remember it is right, left, right on current outfit. And that is how the glitch goes. This is similar to the previous video that I had done on the pink juggernaut outfit. Both glitches are slightly different, but they still end up using Crooked Cop to actually get the glitch going. So once you have spawned in the game, you should be in the Juggernaut attire right now. So what you want to do next is actually to open up your interaction menu, go to style and accessories, and then put on a rebreather. Actually, putting on an LCD earpiece works as well if you have that. So once you have done all that, you can open up your phone and quit the game. Just make sure that in this job, you do not get killed. If not, the glitch does not work. Now that you have loaded up into a session, you will see that the Juggernaut outfit is already on you and you're ready to go save it in any clothing store. Once you save it at the nearest clothing store, you are also able to change a little bit in the outfit. Here we go, counter, saved, and I'm going to save it in a new slot. So once it is done, officially you have saved the Juggernaut outfit. So here I would recommend putting on utility pants to actually match the outfit. I personally prefer the Black Battle pants because they match very well. Over here I actually tried to see if I could change any of the tops that were inside the outfit but um, well, it didn't pan out very well. So over here I'm going to teach you how to actually put on a rebreather together with the helmet. Actually, you can just put on a combat helmet and save it to the outfit as well. Just have that done beforehand. 
Next, change your outfit into anything else other than the Juggernaut outfit. And what you want to do right here is to go into your interaction menu, go to style and put on a rebreather. So with that, we're going to do the telescope glitch. Just run towards the telescope and spam on E. Then go back into your interaction menu and select your Juggernaut outfit again. After that, just walk away from the telescope and you will have glitched on a rebreather. So with this, go ahead uh, to the nearest store to save. That would be the mask store. And this should complete your outfit. There are some people that actually put on a face mask instead of a rebreather. But I leave that up to you. You can still do the same telescope glitch for both. And you are done. Thanks for watching and thank you very much for following. I appreciate all the views that have been coming in and I shall try to upload as much content as I possibly can. Which is why this weekend you're actually seeing more videos. So again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.